Hi, I'm Larry Karaszewski, and this is Trailers from Hell. Today we're going to talk about a movie that uh, was never really given its due, kind of underrated at the time, pretty much forgotten today, uh, based on a brilliant script by Lorenzo Semple Jr., 1968's Pretty Poison. Did you ever meet two kids like Dennis and Sue Ann? We think not. They're quite a pair in Pretty Poison. This film falls into a mini-genre I'm quite fond of. The young, attractive couple that commits murder. Think uh, Badlands, or Heathers, or Gun Crazy, or even Bonnie and Clyde. Those are all great films, and Pretty Poison belongs on the list. Tuesday Weld is great in this film. It's probably her best screen performance. She's such a beauty, but uh, this part allows her to be fun and dangerous. Some of her later performances, in uh, like Play It As It Lays or A Safe Place, force her to put her light under a bushel. She may have been a kind of depressed person in real life, but she shouldn't play one on screen. She's the title character in this movie. She's the pretty poison. For the first half of the film, you think Tony Perkins is leading her astray. He plays a newly released mental patient, pretends he's a secret agent, lies to Tuesday about everything. But halfway through the film, you realize she is this film's psycho, murdering with no remorse, setting up Tony for the big fall. The film is directed by Noel Black. I know what you're saying, who? It's such a strong picture, it's amazing he never did anything special again. His follow-ups were pretty bad. Robert Forrester's Cover Me Babe and the uh, Eric Siegel scripted Tippi Walker drug film, Jennifer On My Mind. He was hated by Tuesday Weld. Uh, she called Pretty Poison, quote, the least creative experience I've ever had. Constant hate, turmoil. Not a day went by without a fight. Noel Black, the director, would come up to me before a scene and say, Think about Coca-Cola. I finally said, look, just give the directions to Tony Perkins and he'll interpret for me. Tony Perkins, by the way, is wonderful in the film, but he always is. Psycho, mahogany, winter kills, crimes of passion, he's very reliable at playing a man on the edge. Most of the credit for the quality of the picture goes to screenwriter Lorenzo Semple Jr. He's one of the greats. Uh, best known for creating the TV show Batman, he was during this period writing interesting, odd character pieces that are kind of hard to see today. Daddy's Gone Hunting, The Sporting Club, and The Great Marriage of a Young Stockbroker. He's one of the few screenwriters that actually has different sections to his career. There's the big silly action movies, King Kong and Flash Gordon. There's the conspiracy theory films, Three Days of the Condor and The Parallax View. And star vehicles like Papillon and Drowning Pool. He won the New York Film Critics Best Screenplay Award for Pretty Poison. Pauline Kael was a big fan. Uh, so is critic Danny Perry, who put Pretty Poison in his first cult movie book. Lorenzo can be seen today on the internet. He's now a film critic, reviewing movies with fellow Hollywood senior citizen Marsha Nassiter. They call themselves the real geezers and are very entertaining. Uh, when this whole thing wraps up, Google them and check them out. Hey Dennis, when do we do something exciting?